one more song and uh, remind you tomorrow we're doing the, the workshop with David Drake at 9 a.m. on uh, songs with a spiritual content. Uh, all views are welcome. And at 12 o'clock, Susan and I are doing story ballads, old and new, so you get to hear what I, some things I've inflicted on child ballads and Susan's slaughtered story songs, so you can hear the uh, the ballad of how uh, uh, Francis Child met the untouchables in the 1920s. <laughs> this is the peak of curiosity. But this, this final song is by the best songwriter you're never going to hear, named Glenn Schubert, unless you happen to go to his house. He doesn't go anywhere. But he wrote this song about, the, you know why bagpipe players practice while marching back and forth across a field? Two answers. It's harder to hit a moving target. Also to get away from the noise. <laughs> now, Glenn is entirely mystified by the idea that anybody would actually like bagpipe music. We do. Believe it or not, under that Swedish square head and these Eastern European cheekbones, flows the blood of Celts. We are certain of this. Those folks got around. But when we heard Glenn sing this song after a house concert, we said, Glenn, we have to have that song. And uh, it does have parts for you. The chorus repeats twice, so you get the hang of that pretty easy. But in the second half, there's a repeat line. No, and that's the sound of bagpipes. And it happens four times, and you'll be able to sing that lustily or gustily if you want to. We, we're not Pete Seeger. You don't have to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try and stop those people. And there's a part at the end that you'll pick up on, I'm sure, too. Yes. A little surprise. It was a far-off sound that somehow sounded near. A sound can try to amplify one's fears. The sound known to cause bleeding from the ears. A proud sound that filled her eyes with tears. She's predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes. Predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes. From Druid Queens. In the Celtic nations, she's got her genes. It's the only explanation for her strange fascination. For a sound like cats in heat, dying of frustration. She's predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes. Predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of Is that the klaxon call that caused Jericho's walls to fall? No, that's, that's the sound, sound of bagpipes. Is that an incoming artillery shell? Or screams from the gates of hell? No, that's the sound of bagpipes. Is that the war cry of Viking hordes? Her fingernails on chalkboards? No, that's the sound of bagpipes. Is that an elephant provoked? Or a goose that's being choked. Whoa, well, that's the sound of bagpipes. She's predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes. Predisposed. Predisposed. Genetically, I suppose. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes. Predisposed to the sound of bagpipes.